Hi YouTube, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to my Asian Career series. And in this video, we're focusing on Hosui, which me and my dad think is the best Asian pear there is. So the Hosui ripens in late August. Uh, my sources say August 28th, uh, but you can harvest it up to about two weeks before, depending on your location and your temperatures. Um, however, uh, we have another Hosui tree over there, and it ripens uh, faster because it gets more sunlight than this one. As you can see on this tree, the fruits are a bit more golden colored than a uh, russet and the gold, the golden color indicates that it's mature and when it's mature it's also sweet. So that means a way to tell that if a fruit is ready to be harvested or mature uh, if the birds started poking on it. And as you can see, the birds have indeed already started trying to eat it. So as I said before, the maturity date is actually more of a guide. If you don't actually know when to harvest the fruit, you can always see uh, if the fruit has been poked into by birds and bugs, and that will tell you when it's mature. Uh, just another way to tell. So talking about maturity, I'm going to cut into these to see if they really are the best. And since I already said, it's my favorite. Uh, another guy, another uh, tip, is that if you're growing fruit trees, you want to get more sunlight exposure. Right. So the description says that it's um, mildly flavored, large to medium, with a round globular shape and a crisp, sweet, juicy, off-white flesh. All right. I can definitely confirm that this is the best uh, Asian pear uh, there is. I mean, I haven't looked at the other ones, but at, uh, so far, this one's number one. It's delicious. So as you can tell, this tree is a lot more bigger and uh, upright than the other trees. Um, it's also very vigorous, and as you can see from it, all these fruits, it's very um, abundant. Um, I think the fruits are bigger as well, too. Alright, so looking at this tree, um, the playground right behind it is around 12 feet high. And if you look up there, you can see uh, like a cut in between uh, the branches. And my dad actually tried to cap it off the tree at around 10 feet. However, it still kept growing. Uh, the reason he wanted the cap off the tree so, is so that he could get to the fruits uh, easier. However, in the winter, he's gonna uh, basically tie the top of it and bring it down so, so that he can access the fruits. Um, oh yeah, and if you are gonna plant a nation pear tree, Hosui is definitely the one you want to go for. It's abundance, it's tallness, uh, it's many factors in you're looking for for a fruit tree. So one drawback of this tree, as with most other Asian pear trees, is that if it grows too many fruits, the branches are going to start to go down. And that's bad because a lot of things can happen, like it's not going to get enough sun, or it could be damaged by other insects or birds just by being on the ground. Um, however, we're not going to thin it out because we can just leave this to the birds and the, the bees, or, you know, just natural fertilizer. Alright, so my information says that uh, Hosui has a good resistance to pure scab disease and it's um, susceptible to fire blight, but that's not really a problem in our backyard. Um, talking about storage, it can last for up to two months in a fridge. Uh, it also says that it may develop internal breakdown if you pick it when it's ripe. Um, that's why you're supposed to pick the Asian pears right before they ripen so that they don't break down internally. Uh, if you, so, the maturity date is August 28th, right? And today is August 15th. So if we pick it right now and store it, then it's not gonna be susceptible to internal breakdown as much. But don't get confused. Let me clarify. If you wanna get the best taste out of Hosui, pick it when it's ripe and eat it. However, if you wanna store it and then eat it later, then pick it right before it becomes mature and then store it. 
and then you can still eat it later. So my text doesn't actually say this, but I'm pretty sure this tree, uh, if I'm wrong, then I'll just correct it in the description below. But I'm pretty sure this tree can be planted in Florida Zone 10, and that's pretty far uh, down far south. And that means that can be planted even at higher elevations, such as the Cameron Highlands or Mount Kinabalu in Malaysia. And I'm not sure if they already have, but someone should try to plant Asian, uh, Asian pear trees in Malaysia. Let's see, they're really tasty. All right, so this is the harvest from uh, this host sweet tree right here. We left some fruit on the tree, you know, for the birds. And if we want to pick the fruit when it's ripe, uh, this box is uh, around 30 or 40 pounds. I mean, it's a bit hard to lift, but I can lift it. So not that heavy. And this bountiful harvest shows us why it's worthwhile to plant Asian pears, especially the host sweet. All right, so as you can see, this is the other Hosui, and if you look down here, it's another box of Hosui pears. And let's see if I can lift this up. Oh. Yeah, it's just a bit heavier than the other one, and as you can see, we left uh, a lot more fruit because it actually didn't fit in the box. So this one is really abundant. All right, so. If you want to know how to plant these trees, then check my video on how to plant bare root trees. And if you want to see where to get them, then check the link in the description below. All right, I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman, especially the Asian pear ones. Alright, moving on to the next tree. Peace.